Hey guys, so it's me Kiani. So today I'm bringing you a tutorial on this look using some plums, a little bit of grays, a little bit of chocolate, and the colors that I'm using came from my June Favorites palette. Remember this? The Enlightened palette that I mentioned to you was $2.99. That's where I get these shadows from. So, if this is a look that you're interested in, stay tuned and I'll show you how. If these colors are not something that really, really tickle your fancy, look at this palette. There are 18 colors. You can choose any of the combos and create the look. The technique is going to still be in this tutorial, so keep watching. Thanks, guys. First, I'm going to begin by using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in shade 604 in the waterline on both eyes. And then I'm gonna gradually place this jumbo pencil right on the eyeball itself. No specific order, just kind of patting that. And then I'm gonna just get my finger and blend that up. Don't take it any higher than your eye bone. You want that spot to be the stickiest. So it's gonna allow this eyeshadow to really, really set. Just kind of blend it. Don't blend it down to where it's not sticky, but you wanna blend it to where there's no creasing. Okay? I normally keep me a paper towel right next to me so I can kind of wipe the excess off my fingers because your fingers are gonna be a key component. Now, we wanna go ahead and start creating that transition. By using the 18 colors, perfect 18 colors by Absolute. Remember, this was in my June favorites. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna start with my transition color. With Let's start with this one here, this taupier shade. See that one? And I'm using me a very fat, fluffy brush. I will have to get the name of this brush. I've had it so long that I've had it marked off exactly who it was by, but you can tell how fat those bristles are because I just wanna do a light dusting of color. This is gonna create your transition in your separation. It's going to really, really just allow you to set some color on the crease of that bone. And you can see how I'm just whiffing back and forth. And the placement of my hand is allowing me to just apply just a tad bit of pressure. I'm really allowing those bristles to work. I'm going to grab me a little bit more of this color here. Now, you can see how I kind of create that light, light contour. Let's go ahead and start playing with a little of this, um, plum since it's going to be the most intense color that I'm wearing and I'm just going to grab just a little bit to initially set that on this eye here. See what I'm doing? You see how you have pow, instant color. Instant color. Do the same thing on the other side. You want to kind of see that? Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work with us a um, little bit of the brown. Okay, we're gonna start with a little bit of the brown. I want you to grab your um, more of a bulb brush. You can see how that has a fatter bulb. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna not blend it down. I'm just gonna pat it and just set that color right here. You see how it's pressing that eyeball in? That's where you want that color to go. This is starting to create your contour. Same thing, one more time. Grab that brown, set it in. Can you see what's happening? So my purple is staying my more dominant color. Now, it was staying my more dominant color until I grabbed that same brush. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of this black and sit around the edge. Do the same thing. Tiniest, the tiniest B. Now, you can see what I did not do. I didn't get my one eyeshadow brush, such as my 219. You see how this brush it expands? By using you a very tight, consistent bulb brush, it allows for proper placement. See that? 
Now, let's go ahead and move forward. I'm going to put just a little bit of the same plum just underneath, and I'm just going to pat it just a little bit. I'm going to grab that, and because I've already done it in my waterline, I'm just going to pat it right here. And just patting it in. Can you see that? Yeah. If you need to clean up just a little bit, grab your, <clears throat> I'm using a MAC 227, a little bit of my eyeshadow powder, and just patting on this color to make sure I don't have too much or not enough. If I had any fallout, it creates, it removes the fallout. Tighten it up, tighten it up. And if I have too much, I'm just going to grab me a little bit of my kabuki and just dust off right, right along that uh, line of demarcation. See what we're working with, guys? Yeah. Just going to kind of blend that up with my finger just a little bit. Okay. I am going to now grab my Jordana eyeliner, liquid eyeliner in the shade black. Remember I told you they have these in Walgreens? They are $1.99. I'm gonna grab that. And create the tightest line possible. Wing that out just a little bit. Same thing with this side. Yep, I'm right-handed, so. Now, you see, I, I don't have to waste time. I don't have to wait on my mascara to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and have my lashes pre-cut. Whichever denseness of lashes you want, get those. I'm gonna grab me a little bit of my um, weave glue, as I call it. And I want the tiniest, tiniest amount. I'm gonna get my paper towel. Smear that on. Fan it just a little bit. And lay that right on top of those lashes that are already dry. And there we have it. Very romantic plums. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something. And um, yeah, continue to subscribe to Makeup by Kiani. Follow me, love underscore Kiani. You will see where I have worn this look. I have a big, big secret coming up. So I just got dolled up and get ready to go and work, honey. Um, thank you guys so much for those of you that have subscribed. Loves and kisses. Thanks so much. That's all I have. Now for the close-up.